guys how are you okay so i've been asked this a couple of times how we do this test effect you just saw on the start of this video so in this one i'm going to show you what you just seen okay on the start and then we'll keep doing the next videos and show you then how you do the 3d effects and background and all that so but for now we're just gonna you know one step at a time so it's, it's less confusing and you learn more okay so let's start so the first thing you do is right click and insert video track okay next right click there and insert test media okay so i actually open there on the other screen there and then what you do i just gonna leave that as it is okay so i don't gotta change anything here yet so let's say you want to add the music so i just gonna add some music here before i start to add some effect to the test okay the moment is static i'm actually gonna add some music so i will start to time everything to the music so basically just drag and drop the music there and it automatically gets the track for you okay so let's see where the music starts and stop and then where i wanna my effect to to begin and finish okay so if i click play there's one okay so that's where i want my text to stop okay so i'm gonna do i just gonna close that right to the line there because that's where i want my test to stop so if you click play now that's it. it's pretty much the timing that's pretty much right there. okay and this is is the next step is um the test you can add whatever you want so for this tutorial what i'm gonna do is just gonna basically show you what to do so basically my my thumb wheel i just in my mouse i just extend the frame so i can see what i'm doing okay and basically i'm just gonna click on the pan and crop button okay uh let's change actually let's change this test so before that let's change the test here okay and let's delete this Okay, for this one, crop a lot. Just gotta put Sony for this one. Okay, this is my first my first frame. And now we go to pan and crop. And now I want this one to come from the left. Okay, so I just move that to there. Okay, and now if you look here. Okay, if you look here, once I use here the, the keyframes, okay, I can actually see right to the end there maybe before the end because i want the test to appear and then i want him to fade away so maybe about there and i move that back to the center okay so if i now close this and click play and see what we got here so you can see it's very very slow right so i just the turn wheel i'm gonna go back because the bang is here so i'm just gonna shorten this a little bit more kind of shorten a bit too much so let's open and find the bang here and again So now move it to there. Let's see what we got. It's about there. Okay, so now I have to go back to pan and crop, and I have to move that back and should push the key frame to there. Okay, so now there is the center. Okay, it looks a bit slow we can always fasten the thing again so the next step i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to my video effects and i'm gonna use gaussian blow i use light blow here just drop that there and now this is okay so this is good to have two screens because what i want to see is i want to animate okay let me just resize this window 
okay so we can see what's happening okay so animate what I'm going to do now is this is basically the size of my frame and what I want is when he hit the edge there okay Okay, so if you notice, if I click play, there is no difference the FPS, okay? So I'm gonna do, I just, right at the beginning of the frame, it's gonna push the, all, all the way to the top, and see what happens. Okay, see now that we got some effect there? Okay, but at the end of my frame, I want that to stop. Okay, maybe before the end, push that back to there. Now if I click play. Right, so pretty much we're getting the effect there now. Okay, so this is our first frame. So pretty much from here, to do the next ones is actually pretty simple. Okay, now from here you just right click, copy, put the next, and paste. Okay, yes, you want to create a new. Okay. Click OK and then I'm about to find the bung, it should be around here somewhere. And if I go back and click play. Okay, yeah, that one come up right. But as you see now, I want this one to come. So one comes from the left, I want the other one to come from the right. So I go back here to your opponent crop. And what we're going to do here. Okay, so if you go back to the beginning. I'm just going to grab this and push it to the left here. Okay, and now let's see what happened. You see that now I got one coming from the left and one coming from the right. So this is pretty much what you do, the left and right move of test effect. So to do exactly the same thing, you just carry on on the copy and paste process. Okay, and create the new one. So you can see that we now go, this one's coming from the right again and it should be coming from the left. So basically I should have copied that one. Okay, so if I move this one to here, and copy the first one, because it's a different, it's the one that's coming from the left. Paste it there. Now we should have the right motion. So you can see after you did the first frame, it's all about keep doing the copy and paste. That's it. Okay, so here is how you do it. So Sony Vegas. So the next thing I want to do is just change the test. So to change the test, you just open that. And at this point, I'm just going to put in this one. Again, in my couple of on. Sony Vegas. Okay, so now we go here, the test that you see at the beginning, Sony Vegas. And this one, I'm just going to add the text. Okay, because that's what you see at the beginning of this, of this tutorial. So there you have it. This is how you create the crazy effect, side to side effect. So the next one, I will be showing you how you do the movements, the 3D movement. So thanks for watching. If you got any questions, hope you learned something from it. So. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm Jose Nunes. Bye-bye for now.